Hi, in this video we are going to discussing about a class constructor. Class constructor is used to construct the instance variables of both the subclass and the superclass. The subclass constructor uses the keyword super to invoke the constructor method of a superclass. The super keyword is used with the following condition. First one is super may only be used within a subclass constructor. To call to super must appear as first statement. And third one is parameters in the super call must match with the declaration in a super class. I, example, here I am writing one of the uh, super class program that name is a person class and name is a person and inside the class I am I write one method that is a person this is a constructor type method and uh, in this method body I am writing only output only one output statement that is a person class constructor next I am writing the child class or a subclass it extends the super class so class and class name is student extends and super class name is person in subclass i am writing one of the method that is a constructor method its name is a student and inside the method body i am writing uh, the super class constructor that is a super keyword and open close braces semicolon so first rule of the super class constructor is super class properties can be accessed in a subclass that is using the super class subclass constructor and its a keyword is a super and it appear at the subclass inside the method and first line must be the super subclass constructor next i am writing the one output statement that is subclass constructor uh, output statement is student class constructor here uh, the first in method first line in is a super class constructor right and uh, next is the uh, uh, another one class for execution class class name is test and write the main method that is public static void main and in this method i am creating the one of the object of the subclass constructor so write the subclass name that is student and object name is s is equal to new operator and method name is a student so its output is display the super class output and also subclass output uh, even i am creating only the subclass constructor then also it display the super class output and subclass output because i am using the subclass constructor uh, of the super class properties can be accessed in a subclasses so the output is display both the super class and subclass and thank you for watching the video.